That's fine. You would be a smart ass. Get your truck off my property. Uh, I'm pretty sure that's a right of way. Pretty sure that's a right of way. No, this is Bo not both sides of the road is a right of way. No. You guys ever uh, run late? <laughs> Good morning. Been up since six, but just doing stuff. So this is the yard. I have to get. Oh, we lost a branch. I have to get the bucket, put it on the trailer, and bring the mulcher because we are gonna go push some dirt this morning, which is a rare treat. But Did that looked like it was in fast forward. The property we're going to. Um, last time I was there, the cops had to be called. The neighbors are very disagreeable, and they're not going to be happy when I get there because what they were mad about last time, well, now the survey's been flagged on the property again, and they, the neighbors lost about uh, probably another 50 feet of land to my client than, than we anticipated even. So... Today is going to be interesting. Um, I'm going to get the bucket loaded up, get on the way. I'm going to put in some clips from the last time. Um, I don't know what I have saved, but if you if you uh, watch to the end, because most likely the cops are coming again today. <laughs> but we're not leaving. We're going to build the entrance. I am putting the machine on property today, and we'll be back tomorrow to, to do some mulching. That's fine. You would be a smart ass. Why would I show you anything? <laughs> That's crazy. So far off of my line. I don't have to show you anything. You're a piece of crap. Okay. <laughs> In the devil. Maybe. Yeah, that's for sure. Still gonna do the job. <laughs> gonna get it done. Well, I'm on site, just got here, blew my trailer brakes. Wondered why my truck was stopping so hard. But um, I already called the cops because they are down there right now blocking the trucks, which are a little early. That sound does not sound good. And uh, so now we're gonna we're gonna put an end to this. We're not gonna let these people bully us. And we're not gonna let them bully our clients. Come on, let go of it. There we go. Get my bucket. And tell them what they can and can't do and uh, well that's just not how the world works so I did just confirm that the flags are still um, where the surveyors put them um, which I'm actually surprised by I figured they would have removed those flags um, but it's besides the point um, at this point now this is my third time here um, like they're costing me thousands of dollars. If I can't work for a, for one day, I lose money. And it's an hour and a half to get here. I'm gonna spend at least an hour here. And then another hour and a half back home, ha at least half my day is ruined by ignorant neighbors. 
So um, if the cops kick me out of here today, uh, again, like they did last time, even though we have the survey and the landmark like they asked, then I guess we're gonna have to go to court. And unfortunately, that means that my client's proper project is gonna get delayed. Um, he's not gonna be able to build his house on time. None of that. Uh, and then on top of it, he's still gonna be stuck with some of the world's some of the world's worst neighbors, hands down. So we're gonna go up here and hang out with the drivers until the cops get here, and then we will resolve this as peacefully as possible. I'm getting tired of this. I just kind of want to flip their trucks over and go put dirt in the ground so we can get to work. So my client already had it surveyed twice. My client purchased land. I'll show you. Just wait a minute, sir. I can't listen to two different people at one time. All right. I'll get a map out. It's easier to see with a map. Okay. So we're right about here, right? The this gentleman owns this this. Uh, he owns a lot of land, but this is his house. Okay. Right there. I believe that's his son. Okay. I believe he owns this house, right here. So right. My client owns this land. Okay. Okay. The survey was for the easement. You can see the easement. Right? Right? It's marked down there. Oh, because the last it's time we called cops, stop. it wasn't hey, flagged? We're not going to sit here and go back and forth while I'm standing here. So, see the flags? Yeah. It's marked. Okay. Like they asked last time. They said, okay, go mark it. It's marked. Now they want to block us again and stuff from doing our job. It's costing me thousands of dollars every time they pull this stunt. Okay. So, so okay. we've done our job. The deputies last time asked us at least have it marked by surveyors. Done. So all you're trying to do is use the easement to get back to the client's property. Nope. We're trying to put dirt on the easement okay. to so go through to go through the entrance. Yep. Okay. Yep. On the marked land. Nothing crazy. Would you rather I block the road like you guys do? I can do that. <laughs> well, that's not up to you either. <laughs> My client owns land here. <clears throat> that's false information. That can, that's false information. She's sending threatening text messages to my client apparently too, which I'm trying to get so I can show you too. But yeah, I mean, he would have to call us on that. But um, again, I, I, I can explain. We're not surveyors. Yep, I, I, I understand that. You know, I can't say, hey, this is illegal because they're saying something about a post isn't right or whatever the case is. Yeah. I have no idea. That's, that's not what we do. Right? <laughs> I, get, I get that. We're that's why here. we paid for a survey to go in right. and mark here. it. We're out here because y'all are arguing. Yep. But at the end of the day, I can't tell you you can't do that. I can't tell you you can do that. You have your survey stuff. The problem yeah. is I can't have trucks back down. And then as they've done three times, or this is the third time. So two times previously okay. is block the road and not let us leave. Correct. Yeah, they can't do that. that so this this is the third time. If yeah, that, they've that already tried it. That can't happen. They've done it today already. We can explain to them that that's illegal and you can't be held here. So again, whatever y'all do, you're hired to do. We're not getting between that. That's okay. Civil. Good. Um, I, mean, I don't know whose property is what. That's not what I'm here for. Okay. Um, so if y'all are going to work and you've got whatever paperwork you have, I mean, you do whatever you need to to do your work. I, like I said, I can't give you permission to do something or not do something. Mm -hmm. That's not up to us. Cool. Um, yes, them locking you in, that can't happen. I'll explain to them they can't do that. So at the end of the day, whoever you're uh, hired by, mm -hmm. take it into court or vice versa, and y'all can squash that in court. Or Deal. They can squash it in court. Deal. We're, we're, not, we're not getting involved in that. It's civil at this point. Y'all arguing, we're gonna, I'm going to let them know they can't block you in. But at the end of the day, the court's going to figure that out. Okay. I'm going to let my client know so he yeah. can make an sure. informed decision sure. um, while, while you talk to them. Yeah, that'll work. All right. Thank you. Yep. If you don't feel comfortable, that's fine, I understand that. I'm not trying to put you in any position, um, but as far as the customer is concerned, he's like he's on the phone with the survey right now, and they're like, no, it's it's right. They, there was actually stuff with the county. <laughs> Get your truck off my property. Uh, I'm pretty sure that's a right of way. Pretty sure that's a right of way. No, this is Bo not both right sides of the road is a right of way. No, this is right of way. That's no. the road, lady. So it, it's up to you at this point what you want to do. Perfect. Yeah. 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 No. No. Everyone. Everyone should be informed. 
So I'll back up. So see the pink flag down there? Uh -huh. About, I don't know, roughly 25 feet in mm -hmm. is an easement where there's the, and it's marked. Right. So that's a, it's his easement to get to his land, which is in the back left of theirs. Mm -hmm. So the dirt is to go across this. Some might call it a pond. Some might say a puddle. Like it's, it's literally a couple trucks. We're going to build a, an easement, a, a road. Now, across if it's this. On, on the on the plat that you guys have, does it sh say wetlands or anything like that? Oh yeah, there's plenty of wetlands okay. on the back side of the ten acres. Okay. There's two acres that are upland, mm -hmm. right along the easement. But you can still put on those. You guys have the proper permits for everything. You know, there's no permit required it. for this. Yeah. No, no. We're if you were to put it on wetlands or anything. You oh yeah, we're not. We're, we're not. Well, yeah, no. This isn't wetlands. It's a man-made pond, okay. P puddle, whatever you want to call it. So that's what that's and that's it's one lane in, one lane out. Been blocked multiple times. This is. Um, we're not, you know, difficult people are hard to work around. So we're not going to so, get back there until it's clear to go. Okay. So when you, you guys called in, right? I called. Yeah. And just for safety. How, yeah, how did she, how, how were you guys blocked in? So this is a, this is the third time here. Mm -hmm. The first time, um, you guys probably had different deputies every time. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> first time, actually I didn't call deputies the first time I, I was able to leave. Um, I drove down and I just pulled off just to the left in between some telephone poles. Um, they came flying out saying, get off my property, this isn't your land, get off my property. And I was like, oh, okay, all right, fine. I'll, like, it's a one-lane road. I was like, yeah, whatever, fine. I got off, I pulled up back over, over here. Truck came down. I think we did one load. Um, they blocked me in. I was in my machine at the end of the road. Block, literally, vehicles came in and blocked. They got out there very confrontational. Um, so we called deputies the second time. Um, and yet they keep blocking us with their vehicles because they can. Like, it's... When you get almost to the end, where it tees, water on this side, fence on this side. You can't go around. So, well, it's... Nobody can block you in anyway. Well, can't stop you for your minutes. It's called you, false imprisonment. Yeah, I have video of it, so... Okay. Can I see it? Uh, yeah. Hold on. The wetland, the wetland she's talking about is where these palm trees are. See right here. See right here. Now, the plants that I used to use, they would be yeah. covered in gray and all that. So we're just putting the dirt right there to get to the easement, and then we're gonna be mulching this edge of the property line. Okay. Which is just heavy mowing. Yeah, I'm not. I don't know if you looked up property appraiser's website, but per that, there's a section of land that this other gentleman that hired these guys owns that leads from this dirt road across on property appraisers? Yeah. yeah. This is the North side of here. their property. That's this road, this road going down. The property ends right like in here. That's all he's trying to do is right here. Yeah. Now, usually the plants will have the wetlands, like it'll say wetland or whatever with the right. lines. Yeah, yeah. You can tell right there what's circled here. Pond. Look at all the palm trees. That's where it would be. Right. There's nothing going on. And you can still dump your sand on there if you got a permit through the county. Right. So well that's But we're we're not we're not touching it, right. just to be clear. Yeah. Yeah, e either way, you're hired to do a job. I don't you have even property appraisers has an easement to it, right? Yeah, yeah. All right, well then they can, again, we can go back, y'all can go back to court about it. We're not gonna, gonna stop you from doing it. Yeah. I'm not telling you have permission to do it. I'm not telling you that you can't do it. Yeah. Because that's not our cup of tea. We're out here to figure out what the argument is. Yeah. So far, all she's done is scream and yell, and... With you here. It's right. worse when you're not, I promise. I, I <laughs> don't disagree with you, so... Um, <laughs> they're leaving, because... Uh, <laughs> oh, you all are done? No, they're leaving. I gotta get dirt from somewhere else today. So, um... I can't blame them, you know. Oh, they don't want to be a part of it? Like, no. Yeah, I get it. Okay, well, that's half of the issue. I mean, I guess <laughs> if you're not putting dirt there, they can't be mad if you're not working out there today. So. Nope, just my bank account. So that's whatever. Um, but at least we won today. Not won, but whatever. At least that's details fair. were straightened Dude, out. Dude, you got yeah. to make sure forward. you got all your paperwork. Bring everything with you. That way we can see when we get here, hey, you were hired by so-and-so to do this on this piece of property, whatever surveys you have. And go from there yeah no right. we'll be ready next time let me tell you what stupid people suck thank you so let's recap Now we're at, so it's, it's, it's three hours every day. So we're at nine hours of driving right now to get here to get shut down. 
We've gotten one load of dirt down, which we paid for. Surveys, check. Surveys, check. County website even shows all the updated information from the purchases and everything. Check. All under my client's name. Check. But their lawyer said it's not legal. Who cares? The, <laughs> the client paid for the land. The land has been surveyed multiple times, three times that I know of at this point, okay? When he bought the land, when he bought the easement, and then when I had it surveyed last, right? So, <laughs> I don't really understand how these people are questioning that they, the easement was taken from them. I don't even think they realized it was taken from them. It was their land at one point, or they assumed it was their land. It was their land. The easement was taken from them. They were they were paid for this. They had to have been paid for this easement because it was sold after my client bought the land, realized all of the front was wetlands, so that the only portion is on the backside where the easement goes directly to. I don't know. Officers did great. That lady was was. They were. She was. I didn't have. I didn't have a lot of it on video, but she was just screaming how they were not doing their job and they're there to protect her blah blah, blah. doesn't help you know I, i'm i'm yeah we'll see about i'll before i elaborate more on her we'll, we'll let her true color show when i get these text messages from the client about how she's threatening him and lawsuits and all this kind of stuff well swing lady because i'm part of the lawsuit now and i don't like bullies any type of bully i don't even care if it's my client, if I see someone being a bully, I, I made I, I stood up to a, a sheriff's deputy uh, last week, literally for being a bully. Guess who backed away? <laughs> the sheriff deputy. <laughs> Actually, he hung up on me after I talked to him later that day. But whatever, still won. But you gotta stand up to bullies, even if it's uncomfortable, even if it costs you money. This cost me. This is this is easily pushing up on $10,000 in lost revenue because of this stunt. Not including the actual lost revenue or, or act, not including the, the expenses that have already been paid um, for the dirt and stuff. Like the dirt's already been bought. It just needs to be delivered. Just, uh, you know. At least Claremont is pretty. Claremont is uh, north of Orlando in central Florida. And uh, you can call it hill country if you want. For Central Florida, this is the this is the hilly area, and uh, a lot of farming, a lot of cows, a lot of fruit, a lot of horses. Not as many horses as Ocala, but still a lot of horses. This one's getting that good grass on the other side of the fence, that ditch grass. <laughs> but I like Claremont. It's a it's a fun town. When we get to come here, it's always nice. Um, and normally the people are super nice here. I've never had a bad experience in Claremont um, other than these, this one house, literally, this one house. <sighs> Anywho, I guess I'm gonna go home, clean the machine today, sharpen some knives, I guess. Very, 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 very frustrating, especially for a small business. Like this isn't, I don't have all the, I don't have other income that's like, I don't have other crews out today make picking up the slack like i just lost today so we'll go home try to be productive and make up for it in uh you know in other ways not everything that's good for the business produces income right so um maybe we'll do some maintenance like i said prevent actually i could call caterpillar because the ac is going out in the machine again i'm gonna do that i'm gonna call caterpillar see if it'll come to the house but uh yeah oh i don't have tomorrow either i might be able to take it to the dealership because I was supposed to be there tomorrow, too. <laughs> we'll see. All right. I'm going to call Cat and find out. What a nightmare. Look at that. Whoops. The wire cutters are missing, but we got to cut that. Actually, I should cut back here. trailer harness 
Now there's a bunch of wires. Each one does a different thing. So we're gonna cut them back and splice them back into this side so they work. All right, now, I don't have any heat shrinkers with me. Those are at the house, which is what those are made out of. So, we got some fancy scotch electrical tape. <laughs> look at that. If that don't look like a Sparky, I don't know what does. If you're a Sparky, do not comment. <laughs> Uh. Wow, that's interesting. Somehow it got flipped and I've been wrapping sticky side out and it's been sticking. Bam. Well, I can confirm that the lights work, but trailer brakes do not work still. So, I don't know. We'll figure it out later once we drop the cat off. It, or the cat to get the AC fixed for the fifth time in 100 hours. Sounds about right, actually. Every 20 hours. So, yeah, we're at cat. Look at this. That made it the whole trip from Claremont, an hour and a half. Let's get this unloaded. Well, I'm trying to work on the computer and Lacey's distracting me because I gotta go look at all these little chickens she got these little baby chicks yeah. the poof balls apparently one of them is pretty entertaining so here is the coop Lacey built with her mom and uh oh I just stepped on one no you <laughs> you better watch out look this one the dinosaur one is that one that has a funny tail. Oh yeah, look at that tail. Yeah, he keeps coming up to me and just stand by me. So he needs a dinosaur name. And the light one. Oh, you're okay. Hey, 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 hey. She's training them to be... I have to hold each one every day. If the, well, this one is a pain. I like that one. That one's a this fighter. One? No, the one that was biting you. These ones look kind of dirty. They're not. Like they're not as cute as the other they ones. They are. They're just a week older, so that's why they're they're starting to get their feathers. What color are these gonna be when they're done? Um, black and white. They're the Australian orbs or whatever. You, you've eaten black and white chicken? No. We ain't eating I that. try to eat white meat chicken. Uh, a little dark meat black. in there, but it's still kind of pinkish white. You know, not pink really, just all white. But we have. Five blue Plymouth rocks, four golden sex sex links, five black Australian orbs, and four that I don't know the name because they were just left out at the feed store, and I wasn't <laughs> gonna got, eat them. We got <laughs> our chickens are scraps. Well, why do we have scraps for chickens? We needed nine total. There was only nine left, so we have to. They're too small to go up here. They are flying around a little. So this is their little coop. This is where they poop eggs out every day? Yeah, at nighttime they're gonna go up. That's where the lamp's gonna go? Nope, just, they don't need a lamp anymore since they're two weeks old. Oh yeah, and cause yeah. it's Florida. Just the other ones. Well, I was hoping I could bring the baby babies out too, but. Nope, see. They're scared of you. I'll get there every day, I gotta hold them. And then we'll be able to play with them. They're gonna be playing with their toys. 
Um, this is coming down, and it's gonna say only excellent hens. That's my idea. Oh, this one's running at me. Let's see him in the sunlight. Oh, this one. Oh, uh, I'll hold it. Aw, don't hurt him. Why would I hurt him? Hee <laughs> hee. That one needs a dinosaur name. This one looks like a dinosaur. Don't he? Look at his face. He got a she, mohawk on she. his. He's got a mohawk on his beak. He's like, I don't really know what to do with that camera. All right. Here. Oh, great. Now he's gonna know. See, this is an adventurous one. He's like, nah, I'm out. I'm out, dude. This is not cool. <laughs> this is not cool. Every time I'd walk out of the bathroom, he'd follow me to the door. Oh, look at him go. He went up one step. Nice. Two steps. Yeah. Three steps. This one's a cool one. Oh, they'll fall off. They have wings, babe. Well, they're little, though. This one is a cool... Yeah, this thing has to get screwed on. For some reason, it didn't stay. Look at those little wings. <laughs> I don't think those are doing much, bud. Here. Be like my mom's bird. That one's going to be your favorite. Come here. My mom's bird will whistle. Oh. Will you whistle? <whistles> no? No. She's like, mm, put me down. Here. Go be with your friends. Come on. You're down some. No, she just wants to stay with you. No poop. It was a poop free hold. I think that's a good thing. I uh, told you that was going to be your favorite. If a bird poops on me, it's getting thrown. Um, Do you think there's anywhere there I really out? don't. Lacey swears her chickens will land on this and not fall off. When they get older, I mean, they might fall off. They if we get a chicken off. that can do that, we're uh, we're starting a chicken circus. That's all I'm saying. Is there anywhere they can get out? Is there anywhere they can get out? Yes. Just right there. That's why I left it overhanged. Know, we gotta put the chicken wire on the chicken coop. All the way around. I just kick. I you know what I do? I kick kick the mulch up a little bit too. Not, that's just, I guess, just for the, by the, especially by the corners, I guess. Yeah. I didn't attach that corner, but I feel like if they were to get stuck a little This is mulch that we made on a job site and brought it home. And it's been mixed in. It's basically a flat compost pile. But this is what our chipper used to make. All this pretty mulch. Black Betty. Now, oh. stay tuned to watch them grow. Yeah, watch us eat eggs. Yeah. Um, eggs, let us know. And, you're, and I'm gonna feed them white mice. Cause if you feed them mice, they go they go crazy. Saw it on the Joe Rogan. Yep, extra protein. The eggs are taste, the eggs come out like yellower. Well, all these are gonna have vegetables on them where they can just pick at them. Those are gonna have lettuce and stuff. These aren't vegan chickens, babe. They better be gluten free though. <laughs> Are you done buying chicken coop accessories? For now. <laughs> so this is our internal uh, animal room. Um, this is where Bear lives. <laughs> my my dog is where he sleeps. And this is where little baby chickens live. Yep, we got those are golden sexlings in the yellow and in the gray are um, the Oreo flavored. If they are black and white. So Hen Solo's in there. Hen Solo? Yeah, the lightest one. It was the one I was holding on the couch last night. The lightest yellow one or the lightest gray one? Lightest gray one. Oh, I think that's Hen Solo. Yep. Tweet, 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 tweet. All right, these ones are not as fun. And they make a mess in the bathroom. Yeah. This is going to take forever to clean up. No, I got it. Easy peasy, 